In a groundbreaking new study, scientists have developed an AI system that can predict survival rates and develop personalized cancer treatments in just 30 days. The system uses machine learning algorithms to analyze a patient's genetic data and identify the most effective treatments based on their specific cancer type. The technology has the potential to revolutionize cancer treatment, making it more precise and personalized than ever before. While the system is still in the early stages of development, it offers hope for the millions of people around the world who are battling cancer. America's life expectancy is the worst of all the G7 countries. In fact, a new ranking, which covered 200 nations, saw the US in 53rd place. The next lowest G7 country is the UK, which sat at 36th. Now the good news is life expectancy in America has increased in the recent decades. It's around 77 years, up nearly nine years from the 1950 level, but other countries are improving faster. For instance, Japan's life expectancy in the same period increased over 25 years to around 85. And we'll soon know the origins of COVID-19, or at the very least, we'll know as much as the US government does. On Monday, President Biden signed a bill that will require as much declassification of America's gathered intelligence as possible. It should eventually make for some fascinating, if confusing, reading. As of now, four US government agencies think COVID-19 likely resulted from natural transmission, two think it likely originated in a Chinese lab, and two are undecided. Personally, I'm most curious to see what the public reaction is when all these documents get released. In my experience, a little intelligence can be a dangerous thing. Back in a bit.